Hi. Okay. So as um, Miss Summer said, we're going to be going over how to set up reminders and alerts on your smartphones. So the table of contents, so the topics we're going to be covering are what are reminders and alerts on your on your phone, setting up reminders and alerts, different apps and customizing, and at the end, there will be vid a video demo. Okay. So do you know what helps you make your points clear? lists like this one like they're simple you will never forget to buy milk you can organize your ideas clearly so why should you use reminders and alerts so you can use reminders and alerts to stay on top of tasks and deadlines to improve your time management and never miss important events or appointments mm -hmm. like for example for me when i have um say a badminton tournament because i play badminton I always make sure to set a reminder on my iPhone to remind me a day in advance to get all my get my badminton racket ready and my gear and my glasses, everything ready. So types of reminders on phone. So there's time based reminders, which um, remind you at a specific time. There's reoccurring reminders, which can be like for repetition, like, for example, every day you want to walk your dog. Or every week you have to go to church or every month you have to pay a bill and then there's location-based reminders so these location-based reminders get activated when reaching or leaving a place so types of alerts on phone there's calendar event alerts which are notifications for scheduled events there's email and sms alerts which um are reminders sent via email or text message. And then there's app notifications, alerts from apps like notes, tasks, or third-party apps. Now, setting up calendar alerts. So to set up calendar alerts on Android or iOS, you can open up Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. From there, you can go to create a new event, and then you can set your custom alert notification. Setting up reminders on iPhone. First, you want to open the Reminders app. Then you want to tap New Reminder. And then you want to um, enter your title and details, like what date, what time. And then fourth, you want to set time, data, or location. All right. So third-party apps for reminders. So an app, uh, a couple of apps would be any .do, Microsoft to-do, Todoist, Structured Daily Planner, Time Tree, which is a shared calendar. Um, now we can go through how to set up um, location-based reminders on iPhone and Android. So on iPhone, you can open the Reminder app and tap the I icon next to Reminder. Then you can select Remind Me at Location. On Android, you can, op you can open Google Keep or Google Assistance and set reminder with when I arrive at this location. Setting up alarms using alarm clock. You can open, uh, you can open the clock app and click set alarms with labels and snooze and repeat options to customize alarm. Setting up SMS reminders. You can use tools, uh, tools such as Google Assistant for SMS alerts. So to do so, you can first go to settings on your Android phone, then you can go to apps and notifications, and you can select messaging apps and then notifications to toggle on or off notifications or customize alerts. So some common issues and to troubleshoot them. So if reminders aren't syncing with all shared devices, say I have an Apple Watch, I have an iPad, and I have um, an Apple iPhone, you can, uh, to, to make sure that the reminders are syncing through all devices, you can make sure to check your internet connection. If your notifications are being shown, make sure to check if notifications are disabled or allow app permission to show notifications. There are some issues with location-based alerts that could happen if location services are off. Make sure that they are on to get alerts when in specific locations. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1 844 
217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. on Thursdays.